So a lot of people don't know, but on certain controllers, you can actually change the LED colors while using it on your PC. And today we're gonna go over how to do that with the Xbox Elite Series 2, the DualShock, which is used for the PS4, and the DualSense, which is used for the PS5. Now, before we hop into this, if you do wanna see how to connect these controllers to your PC, I do have a quick video on that. Uh, it's a little bit older. It doesn't specifically go over the DualSense, but the DualSense setup is the exact same as the DualShock, so you can go ahead and check that out. I will leave a card somewhere up top here. Without further ado, let's just hurry up and hop into it. So all these are gonna be done in the same area. Um, you're gonna go ahead and go to Steam. You're gonna right click on it, go to settings. You're gonna go down to the controller section and then you're gonna go to general controller settings. Now on the Elite Series 2 controller, you're gonna have to enable Xbox configuration support and Xbox extended feature support in order for Steam to download the drivers. Once that is done, you do not have to have these enabled anymore to, to configure the settings. And I will show you if I turn these off, I go ahead and click on my controller and I go to preferences. I still have access to all those extended features. The reason I say you don't have to have that on is sometimes the configuration support for both the Xbox and the PlayStation controllers can cause issues in certain games like Rocket League. I had a ton of issues. So if you are experiencing those, make sure that you had to turn it off. So we can go to the preferences and in here we can go ahead and we can change our controller light color um, and it changes pretty, pretty quickly. Um, I like it in purple, so I'm gonna leave it on purple. You can change your brightness and your saturation. You can even change the name of the controller if you want. And then you go ahead and click submit. This will remember that color every time you turn the controller on and you'll see it once Steam recognizes it, it'll change the color over. Now with the PlayStation uh, DualSense controller and the DualShock controller, they're almost the exact same. Same thing, um, make sure that you enable the PlayStation configuration support first in order to download a driver. Um, it doesn't have to, some, I've noticed that sometimes on some of my computers, I haven't had to do this on some of them I have. So just check it on just to be sure. Uh, it may download a driver, it may not. Um, but then you can go ahead and go to the PS5 controller down here. You can go to your preferences. And again, you can name it, change your, your uh, rumble preference. You can change if the player slot LED is on. So if you have multiple controllers set up, it'll do the same kind of thing as it would act on a PS5 where it would show the different LEDs based on which controller it is. Um, but I would typically just have this as off, especially when you're using it on a PC. And then again, you can go ahead and change your color uh, very quickly here. Um, and it changes almost instantly. And you can go ahead and change your brightness and your saturation as well. And I mean, that's it. It's super simple and super easy, but I think this is a really fun way to customize your controllers, kind of add a little bit of personal personality to them. Um, it is only available on the very expensive Elite controller or the pretty expensive DualSense controller or the older DualShock controller. So depending on which controllers you like, it's only gonna be available on some of them. It is not available on the standard Xbox controller, so keep that in mind. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Roger Son of Dojo, and thank you for watching this video. Again, if you do want to check how to connect your controllers to your PC, you can go ahead and check out the video right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.